Hello and welcome to Europe Universalis. My name is Menturius and welcome to Ireland. Ireland, Greenland, Ireland, Canada and soon to be Ireland, Great Britain. We are preparing ourselves for the war with Great Britain, uh, with our allies. Uh, I hope I can get Denmark in. At the moment we did a little, little conquest in this area over there. But, well, we've got some new friends. Let me show you guys uh, some new vessels. I wonder if I can... Yeah, I, I should improve my relationship with this one. And always also with this one. Because what I kind of want to do is slowly make this one big area. Uh, we got some rebels there. We got... A part of my second army over there so let's bring those guys back to deal with rebels this is not my army and this is this is my ship all right so it's Irish Canada ship <coughs> so I want to get my main army back Um, nope, better leave it. Don't want to be like a harsh guy. Right, if I take this Corrid, it will become part of Irish Canada. Now, I had a little rebel problem over here, so going to try and fix it I'm not sure this is going to work definitely want to slow that down a bit but lucky All right it went better than expected so I build up my fleet that's costing me a lot of money and then you guys can go back uh, we've uh, dealt with all our rebellions at the moment. We've got a colony growing up, bringing some money in. And you might be wondering why I'm not using my points. <coughs> well, it's quite simple. Because we are slowly getting the revolution and... Well, it's not that long. So I kind of not want to waste my points on that. As long as I don't, I could rather put it in. And let's see. I could rather put it in my development. Because we got some nice development areas. And let's see. Like this one. It's got like a development of almost. I want to get the coal areas up as well. This one needs to be 20 as well. And that's also going to pay me some money. Let's give it military as well. And let's see if we can get some more. Get some corruption. That's kind of annoying. But by putting it in the development is way better spend. We can get more money and more troops. Units have suffered casualties. Alright, where are my troops? I need to... They're dropping over there, alright. Lose one ferocious and I want to send my main fleet back. Or do I not want to? Yes, I do want to send my main fleet back. Because we kind of want to see ally with Switzerland. Because if I go to a war with them, I definitely need France on my side. Denmark does not want to because... I guess because distance war, Danish manpower, minus one Irish reputation. Ooh, that's interesting. My reputation isn't that good. I kind of want to take York. Uh, at the moment, but let's see how much. Nope. How much troops England has? Military armies. Like the total manpower. We are the biggest one, but 
I do believe, yeah, they got like... They don't have that much, they got a lot of artillery. So let's drill these guys up because my army isn't a professional army. We're almost professional. May I build depots. May I refill garrisons. And I do believe like England cut like a damn professional army. Right, is there why are we at minus? I guess that's because of some strange thing going on at the moment. Diplomatic relationships no no interesting points I could use. Oh, that's the same one. That one. National unrest, national inflations, missionary training, also things I cannot I won't do not want to use I'm kind of waiting for the next war to happen. As you can see, France is building up his army again. But the question is, what are the plans? Because they don't like... They don't like Spain. That's kind of annoying. Who are your allies? You should have, like, some allies. Milan. Hmm, interesting. I think I have more corruption. That's not what I want to. Alright. Uh, is there anything I can do? <coughs> we need like... Extra troops or extra land. Scottish Shepherdists. Where are the Scottish Shepherdists going? <coughs> My apologies. Let's see, manage rebel suppressions. Rebel suppression in that area. Mm, that's kind of annoying. So I could go for another war. That's a possibility. But you at war with somebody because if you are. The Conquistador has died. That's kind of annoying. Get level 1 back for it. Alright, declare war. We will cause belly for that. I kind of want to take these because the, this is one of the most important areas. It's a trade center and that will give me some money. So I guess we need to build and fabricate a spike network. Costing me 610, 90 points, that's a lot. Definitely need to get more money. And the next one is the global trade or Merc. All right, well, I guess we are going to go with lower army maintenance. That way we get like a lot of money. Six ducat, that way to speed up. Oh, go. I lost. That was not smart. That was definitely not a smart idea. This is going to cost me like a lot of money. Alright, I guess you guys don't. We're still low army maintenance. Yes, I did expect that. Alright, this is going to cost me like a ton of money. Because I totally forgot about... Lucky my army is a bit better. Yeah, I only 
definitely need to do that. And next time I need to keep a little bit of focus on Marmy. That was truly a waste of a lot of money. Portugal is a new rival. That's interesting. Why are you guys new rivals for me? Because, well, you got like a bigger fleet, but you're way... There's nothing really close nearby. Interesting. Why am I rival with you guys? Why do you do you guys not like me? Interesting, interesting. Our coffins are getting worrying light. Send a letter to the Prince of France. I guess the Prince of France is even having a lighter coffin. Getting more prestige will definitely be nice. Uh, we're going to do it that way. We are going for the money all the way. And I need to keep an eye on rebel faction. It's going to be 18 years. That's not going to be a problem. Knowledge is power. I wonder what the obscurionism is. So I kind of want to know. Obscurionism. We are getting obscurionism. But what is it? Obscurionism. National unrest. Oh. There was no benefit. Truth will expire soon. I can get a lot of marketplace, but I kind of want to get the alignment done. Global settlers increase. That's definitely good to gain core construction. And ding, another one done. And that isn't joining. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, so you... I was expecting... What is like 5k troops of Britain doing here? That's something I don't like. But on the other hand, if the 5k of Britain is there, they are not here. So I'm sending my troops back. Right. It's kind of strange that it doesn't get part of the most important land there is. We got the Manx Independence coming up again, and these guys, the machine. Well, I guess that's kind of his problem. I just sent my troops back. Alright, how much... Do we need? Yeah, as expected. We gotta cause belly against man. Oh my god, I never retook the damn land. <laughs> oh well. And Denmark is giving us a royal marriage. Well, so be it. Kinda wanna keep an eye on the rebellion that's going on here. He's not, he's not going to help. Damn, now I need to send my 8k troops back. Alright, let's get our troops back into maintenance. Send you guys back to that province. French troops are helping me. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, 
Well, if I do send my troops over here, we are going to declare war to this guy. Fabricate a claim. Take the land. Thank you. And slow down. Guess we need to wait a few. Take. All right. I just did, did declare war, did I not? Take. Confirm. Thank you, I'm at war. As expected. And is there anybody joining you? Yes, there are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Because I kind of want to integrate you. Oh, we need to wait a few days for that. But that guy is pretty big. Integrate, integrate. That's annex. I need more. Oh, we cannot annex him when we are at war. I don't mind. Yeah, we are supporting you guys. Thank you. Now we're going to take these guys. <laughs> and this is good. Oh, he was sending his... troops in two. I don't mind. I don't mind. <coughs> All right. Recall. Taking those land as well. We're still making money, so that's a pretty good thing. And I kind of want to recall you because this will become a colony itself. Alright, let's intercept that guy. I like the logo, that guy, like like a half Irish flag. Yeah, I'm going to get peace with you. I, I wonder if I can sue for peace and take your land. Concord is, uh, I don't kind of court this one, so I kind of need to vassalize him. Or just tier trade and, and let's transfer trade power. Concede. Crete will be forced to concede Canada to Ireland. We'll be forced to concede Canada to Ireland. What does that really mean? War reps, so yeah, you guys will have to... I love the way how my troops travel way faster than they do. So, I thought I was at war with that guy as well, but I guess not. What I can do is, if I cannot I can take this area, but man, I kind of want to have this one. 
Hmm. Pity. We're just killing them. And in the meantime, we're also making some money. So I guess we now have like all their lands. That one. Hmm. Yeah, we cannot do that one. We cannot take him. I want to take this one. And uh, no, let's to you first. I cannot do take your land so I cannot make you a vassal yeah I could but this will be it send all right pause the game now next one the next one is Ottawa that one Hope you guys have a little bit of money. You don't have money as well. Pause the game or at least slow it down. I can take your land. That's interesting. All right. But you don't want me. Hmm. I kind of want to, so I got my army. Yeah, so just use the fleet. I don't mind. Then you guys, super peace. <clears throat> You're like the big guys. You got 60. Uh, you're going to pay me war reps. And 12. Kind of do everything that is going to transfer. That's going to cost me a diplomatic slot. So that's. Kind of demand. Require more than 100 war score. Oh, all right, well, we'll wait. We will wait because we will send our ships in there. And we're going to do like naval invasion. I don't mind doing a naval invasion. Just because we can. Kind of funny. I was thinking like starting this uh, this this section with this video with attacking England, but well, local development cost minus ten. That's definitely interesting. So I guess we are going to do. Some local developments. Pity it's a woody area, but well, I don't mind. Because we got like a lot of points to spare. And how far are we with the development? We are 100 ducats away from that. So I guess at the end of this war, we will be able to... Right, so we, now that we have a 100 war score, I will definitely go... You guys, I want to take your money, take your land, thank you. Next one on the list is going to be the Herdens. Super peace. I could kind of demand. We are we are at one hundred wars for. Hmm. 
Interesting, because we are at a 100% war score, but I cannot. Well, it would diplomatically... Yeah, let's do the money. I could use the money. Alright. Now the last area. Need like dip diplomat, that's the funny thing. I want to get all your money as well. Alright, so kind of funny because these lands now belong to Irish Canada. I am going to integrate you and this one isn't. I find that kind of strange. Would love to transfer that land to our uh, own all provinces with your culture. Hmm. Can you train your bonuses? No, nope. that's not that's not going to have several subjects I got one uh, I kind of want to integrate you now because that is going to save me like some points threat the war and X you don't like me that much anymore I want you guys are going back to England You guys are going to land to that area. How are we doing with the rebels? We got some rebels. So I guess you are going for the manage take the zept. Suppress the rebels. Make another core. And we can finally do this. That is what I was waiting for. Alright, now we can finally boost like everything up pretty much. Military tactics. Military, we are like, they are like 15 and we are 16. <laughs> so with prawns on our side, we should be able to... To beat England, at least I hope it will. And declare war, and France will join us. So that that's kind of the good thing. I don't know. Think Switzerland will be a tough enemy. I think the biggest thing will be having our own army up and running, and we are doing pretty well. And we will be doing pretty well. Well, this is it for this uh, episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed it a lot. I definitely did. And, well, i definitely going to start another war. Oh, maybe we're going to try and get Denmark in it as well. Because Denmark isn't willing to join us at the moment. Minus 80 because it's in depth 40 and distance war. That's kind of why is distance war. It's kind of close, you know, pretty close. Oh, they got like a lot of rebels. All right, so they got a little problem going up, but I guess we'll have to see that in the next episode. I'm also having a little bit of corruption. We're going to check that out as well in the next episode. We're going to save up some money. And well, we'll have to see what we'll do in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.